Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Arcade Bombs Feeders, episode 39. I almost lost my language there. I'm talking over myself. I thought you were going to say 38. It's been so long that I don't know how to do this anymore. Picked up a power drift. Circa 1988. Uh, it's one of those awesome pickups that was a big pain in the... Anyway... Uh, the deal wasn't too bad. It's got some issues. We're going to try to work them out. Hopefully, we can fix it. <laughs> Never know. It's kind of working. Well, the monitor's on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it, know if a coin's it's, up. It's playing blind right now. It, definitely issues. But <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, yeah. Are you prepared? I'll be the here. The power drift with this guy. Yeah. Stay tuned. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching Maddie Mo's Arcade. And you know how long it's been I just I played black hole. I'm getting ready to attack. Fanny pack attached. Tokens are all stacked, got the mallet in my grasp Waiting for the moles, ha, hiding in their holes Score, we're keeping tally, I'll be playing till they close now Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score Can't nobody beat my high score You can't beat my high score I'm a mallet master, a single fisted blaster can ask my baby, it starts slow then gets faster. I'm a record set or my Welcome back to episode 39, Arcade Bottom Feeders. Power Drift. This game came out in 1988. It was made by the same uh, or designed by the same game maker that made it's a Sega. Yu Suzuki, I think is his name. He designed uh, Outrun and uh Hang on. And super, probably other. Super hang on is the same hardware. Right. And basically, uh, Sega challenged him to take the racing game into a new direction. And so he came up with Power Drift, which is uh, kind of a, I think it's almost a precursor to, I think, inspired Mario Kart to a certain degree. Because you're in a go-kart, your people are a little oversized, and you're racing against, you know, you, you have to place... To move on first second or third and the better you do the more power-ups you get that could be a lie i'm not sure <laughs> might not be power-ups <laughs> anyway didn't read the manual <laughs> no i do know if you get first place on every track that uh you will turn into an f14 as seen in afterburner and be able to race tracks as the f14 that's right did I see that on the track mode? Uh, you don't see the F-14 appear in track mode. You do see a car kind of floating up here for some reason. Maybe you showed me on that's YouTube kind of or simulate. something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I showed you how that's it flies in and turns into an F-14. Then you race as the F-14. Anywho, okay. So this guy, it was, a, it was one of those kind of nightmare pickups where... The guy wouldn't communicate with me. He doesn't set a price yet either. He wanted 250 for it. And he said everything worked. I asked him if it had a shaker motor. If the steering wheel shaked when he wrecked. He's like, oh yeah. Everything's all good. He would hardly communicate with me. I'm like, I'm trying to, you know, make arrangements to pick it up. And it'd go like He failed on, on the ad and it was... Well, yeah, he said I forgot. It was two yeah. hours away, two and a half hours. He said away. he was. It was in a different town, like three hour, almost three hours away. Really, probably round trip. It would have been five to six, and actually, it was only an hour away. So, even though we were trying to pick it up that evening, we didn't want to drive that far in that amount of time because it was rainy and late, and whatever. So we made arrangements for another day. That bricked, and I was like, "Let's do it next week." He's like, no, it's got to get picked up tonight. After so, he ghosted us. Right. So I had him down to 200 on the phone. I thought it was going to be a good deal since everything was working, right? You know, fully working arcade game, 200 bucks. It wasn't really. Yeah. And it's a cool racing game. game. It's, 
kind of different. You don't see many power drifts. So I went to meet the guy an hour away from my house. We will play it at the end of the video. In my uh, unconditioned truck in August 30th. Hot as hell. I said, no, it's September 2nd. It's still hot as hell. And he's not there. Fucking two hours later, he finally shows up. Pulls by the gas station as I'm waiting. Says, come follow me to the arcade game. I'm like, starting to freak out. I don't know where I'm following this guy to. <laughs> Could be a rape dungeon. <laughs> Anyway, so, the lotion on his skin. <laughs> so I jump in the truck and follow him to this garage, and there it sits behind some junk. And uh, get there, and of course, you turn it on. Screen's blank. Doesn't, doesn't power on. Well, the light. Well, no, the, I put the light in here, so the light didn't power on either. But there's nothing. I guess the uh, the coin lights powered on. Anyway, I'm like, all right, that's cool. I'll go a hundred bucks on it. He's like, no, no, we can fix it. I, I, it was working the other day. So he fiddled in the coin door and evidently the harness has an issue and got the, the screen to come on. And uh, it was, you know, washed out. It didn't look too good. So his daughter decided to get some be real for this. Adjust the pots in the back, trying to make it better. Before you know it, the screen was verting everywhere. It just became a total and huge mess. So since then, I have adjusted the screen to the best I can get it. But there's no sound. And it doesn't have a shaker motor. Which, My monitor looks great, though. Which is um, not uncommon with the power drift. Evidently, they sold three versions or four. There's a cockpit version. Really? And fully... Oh, yeah, I think I've seen that. Before. And it's also got full full hydraulics, you know, kind of like my turbo outrun there. Out right. So. so there's no shaker motor, but I'm going to add that to it at some point. The game's pretty cool. Uh, we are going to check out a couple things on the... We're going to try to figure out what the sound issue is. It seems like I can hear a little bit of sound. If I put my ear right up to the speaker and start the game, I can hear kind of the starting sound. But it's real faint. Uh, I've looked into the audio amp. Evidently, it's a known issue, kind of with this one. Well, there's kind of several problems people are having. Yeah, it's there's more a, than one. A issue. couple, couple problems that appear a lot, and we're hoping that it's not one of those. Hope I'm not boring you with the story, but a lot of people want to know the background of these pickups, how I come across them, and what we end up getting for. And the adventure, because it's it's never just like let's pick this up and you know, oh yeah, you know it's never like oh you know, it's an hour away. I'll show up and pick it up in ten minutes and be back home in an hour and ten minutes. No, it ends up occasionally being four hours. we show up and the guy's ready, has it ready to load. Most of the time it's like oh yeah, it's uh it's in the in my basement. We just have to go up like eighteen stairs and then turn a right corner and then go up fourteen more and and then oh, then deadlift it out of, out. Of, Two doors. Bringing back <laughs> memories. Painful memories. Bad dudes. But I couldn't whittle the person down. Uh, they insisted that the sound worked. They had video of their kids playing with the sound working. And I was like, oh, I'll take your word for it. I should have looked at the video. Because mm -hmm. it, it wasn't just a wire. So. Uh, what else? See, there, that's how the car flies in. Did you tell the video there? I got a lot of the track mode. Okay. Well, um, at this point, how about a little gameplay? You know, we'll see. You want to do gameplay, or you want to check out and see if we can just check the easy stuff on here? Uh, I kind of looked at all the easy stuff at this point. I think we're gonna need to recap the audio amp. Um, but you looked at the cheap, at the cheap easy stuff. I didn't look at the cheap. I've easy replaced stuff. the potentiometer. I've uh, tested both speakers. I've tested connections on the motherboard. And the, you know, the card you're, where it connects there, I didn't find any we'll, issue, but... We'll do some gameplay, and then that'll be the end of the official video, but I want to kind of poke around in the back of it, and if I find something, then we'll come up for a recap. Yeah, we'll see if we can repair it, um, hopefully pretty soon. I was thinking right after we get done with filming this part that'd be cool i just want to because you know it's, i just want to get in there and poke around now that it's because there's a couple things that we could fix there's a couple things where it, it's a custom ic and we're not going to be able to find it you don't really know how i mean 
how important the sound is to the game until you play one without it. And it's just like, oh, that's fun, but it'd be so much better if you hear the music. Especially the, to you, everything has to be on volume 15 out of 10. Oh, yes. I like surround sound. I like it loud. <laughs> I'm a man from the 90s when we had bumping stairs and what? 15 what? And big amps and thumping. What'd you say about her? Music, huh? That's what hearing aids are for. All right, well, let's get the camera set up and... and uh, a little gameplay action. Power drift. 88 style. Get ready. Gameplay action. Power drift. Coin it up. You won't hear no sound, sorry. I didn't hear the sound of the coin. All right, you pick your track. There's 25 tracks, five courses. I hope I picked a good one. You said this game kind of reminds you of Mario Kart. Yeah, I think they got the idea from Mario Kart after this guy. They based some of the... Uh, Gameplay. Yeah, how you're, how you're driving. Because... I would say they definitely looked at this game and were like, we want it to feel like this. Right, the, the up and down action of the hills is definitely right. Mario Kart-esque, like Rainbow Road. There should be a little shaking action, you know, if I go off the road, but no shaker motor. I'm going to fix that because I'm going to make this a deluxe power drift. And I was wrong, there's no power-ups, there's no uh, banana peels or or stars, you're just racing and you want to finish in first place, and if you don't finish, oh, shit, oh, sweet, I, I wrecked, and, uh, and it shows the courses, all, all 25, and I think the red is signifying the danger portion of the course, or you might need to slow down. Yeah, we gotta fix that. Don't forget, you got a face cam to talk to. Oh yeah, how you doing down there? Oh, I wrecked. <laughs> uh oh, see enough help? Complete. It's a great little game. I hope. I You're think. right though. I mean, it is just missing a lot. Yeah, you just. And if the shaker motor even was there, it would help. Help some with that. How much are non-working? I, I found one on eBay. Or do you have a non-working, like, bull, or, uh, uh... I didn't find any PCBs. No power drift PCBs. Well, it doesn't have to be power drift. It can be, um, OutRun. It can be any of those games. What do you mean? The chip is on all those boards. Oh, okay. Well, I have... So if there's a cheaper board... I have a thun an extra, uh, Thunderblade board. Does it have sound? Uh, well, no, it, we couldn't get it to boot up, remember? Oh, well, then sound may work on it. Yeah, right? it, it's, it's one of those boards I resurrected, and it, it didn't resurrect. You got, you got a camera to look at it over here. Oh, uh, yeah, look. I'm looking <laughs> at this one over here. Here's one of those Rainbow Road type of tracks that you can easily fall off. Yeah, so that chip is uh, really fragile. Yeah, you said it was a surface nice. mount chip, and you need to... Uh, use a heat, would you say, exact hot air? Or? The, yeah, hot air reflow. But, uh, it, or hot air reflow. It, it, uh, there's some people that said that they did just fine without it, but yeah, I think you need to have like certain special skills to do that. Well, I have those special skills. And I would just, I would just use my rework gun. <laughs> you start sounding like Liam Neeson there for a second. I have a certain set of skills. I have a certain set of tools. That makes me a nightmare to people like you. It gives me a superpower. I am an arcade to repairman. Almost, to almost fix I am an arcade repairman. Are you? I can't fix it, but I can get real close. <laughs> hey, it's playable. It's in the arcade. Of course, it's in the laundry arcade. This is the... the Here, Here's what I'll do is I'll, I'll, is I'll try to find some gameplay footage and then I'll isolate the audio 
and then I'll overlay the audio of that <laughs> like, game over like, your game. Like it's actually working? <laughs> yeah, we're going to fool you. We got it working. So right in here somewhere, we're going to have some real audio. I really think this would be... I don't know. I, I like it. It's it's definitely different. It's not outrun by any means or uh, the motorcycle version, which I love too. I'm a Sega racing fan. They really kind of paved the way for Gran Turismo and all that jazz. You know, you know, you know the know? Chinese are really good at like faking chips and like they do all this stuff. Why can't they just make these obsolete chips? And that's what you need sound for too, so you can drive. So it kind of helps you. We we have sound, track. remember? It's it's perfect. Oh yeah, I forgot. There it is, see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The sound wrecks a little bit different. Power drift different times. Um, I I hear it was a big hit on Sega Saturn. I think. Or, I don't know. I don't remember. The home consoles. More people will know about this game on the home home console than in the arcade. I would think. Don't shut me off. You go in. I don't need that one. <laughs> Not anymore. But. I could use some advice on how to fix this bad boy. And I think we should, even though you've tried, I I still have to check myself so that I know that okay, there's continuity here, there's continuity here. Yeah, I, you know, I haven't done my due diligence on the on the harness like you like to do, and which I, is a necessity. I also, way. even though it's a new pot, I still would test the pot and make sure. I tested the pots. I did go ahead. And you didn't know how to test the pot when we were upstairs earlier. I, do. I read it. Not that kind of pot. It's just a fucking audio pot. What are you talking about? You gotta put the meter on it. You gotta have it on ohms. You read it, and then you make sure that's what it is. Guy at Gateway Electronics is very helpful. He showed me how to test the pot. I'm sure he did. Ask him. But anyway, I I think check the easy stuff. Um, we know that the issue with the video cutting in and out is uh, cold, cold solder joints on the filter board. I want to make it shut off. Uh, and if there's anybody who had that problem, that's how it fixed. So we'll do that, and we won't have it. it that's stable for everyone after that. And so that's common for that. But then there's, there's the parts where people had RAM problems, and that fixed it. And if that didn't fix it, and their sound was sped up or too slow, then it was definitely the custom. Now, if you stick your ear up to one of these speakers and coin it up, you can hear the dun dun dun. But so if you turn the the potentiometer nothing it doesn't it doesn't get i mean i would hope and hoping that it would get just a little bit or, or a little bit louder or a little bit softer it doesn't do that so it's still in my mind the potentiometer isn't doing anything well it might it's just so faint anyway you could barely hear it so if you turn it down you're just not gonna hear nothing you can't hear anything in here that's for sure right especially with your mouth going all right so uh, we're gonna end this Kind of, and then I'm gonna poke Episode around. Thirty nine. You laid for it. And then it's been two months. If I can, have you missed the talent. I know I have. If I can find something, or we find something to share, then we'll come back for just a recap. But here, hop behind the behind this real fast. I want to show my shirt. Come on. Come on. Lincoln. We're already like a twenty five minute minute video. All right, so this is the front. I don't know if I'm on camera. You got to kind of. He's on camera. His eyes okay. are rolling. I forgot and left the stupid hazing in the background again. I don't know why I keep doing it. But Cemetery. I love the back. What do you mean by that? What it's the, by that, it's the starting screen of Donkey Kong. Oh, Dawn. yeah, DK. So it's basically like how many levels can you get? Like how, ma how much higher can you get, you know? So That's the doors. What good did shirt. They say? Good fun. It's available in the store, and yeah. I'm trying to make all the shirts 15 bucks. Because the shipping is like three times what we thought it was. So nobody orders a shirt. Well, I understand why. Who wants to pay $35 for some dumb YouTuber's shirt? You know, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I won't even pay that much for my own shirts. So I'm trying to lower that. That's about as low as they're going to let us make it. Because they, they make you make a little bit of profit. They won't let you do it for free. So check it out. There's a link for that in the uh, description and at the end of the video. 
So I mean, all these other games work, FYI. It's just Matt has an issue with no, I, I don't. Sound. People from the channel who follow the channel, they know there's constantly music being played and sounds that ruin it and what? Vacuums going and then we got interference on the mic going while I'm talking. And all the ghosts in here. You all see the ghosts flying around? That was, That's just dust. That was me. I had to let one rip. And <laughs> Your killed, eyes are going, dude. I You're killed a few me. spirits. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Or we'll be back. So these two right here are going to be ground and 5 volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. I get what I want! <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So, everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.